Hi, I'm Lorna here from the Butterfly Pavilion where it rices honey, working with local hive to bottle our Butterfly Pavilion honey that we pulled from our hives in the suburban Denver area. We have five apiaries and 21 hives this year. The honey that we're bottling today at Local Hive is from the Butterfly Pavilion, and it's the work that they've put into maintaining and managing hives throughout the Denver metropolitan area. So it's, it's homegrown honey right here in Colorado, and we're gonna bottle it for them and giving them an opportunity to sell to members and other individuals that are interested in buying a very local honey that is from their hives. A lot of those hives are in areas where you have backyards of different homes that have different plants and flowers and you get the uniqueness of the cross floral sources that bring to life uh, the honey that you may not otherwise see of kind of homogeneous honey. The main reason that we chose to connect our cause marketing platform with the Butterfly Pavilion was really all around the work that they're doing in supporting pollinators, not only in the U.S., but around the world. And the one platform that was of great interest to us was the work that they're doing with the Bees for Elephants in Africa and Asia. The story is a wonderful story that supports many different platforms and it really originated and started right here in Colorado from the organization known as the Butterfly Pavilion. A portion of the proceeds from the honey that we're bottling today is going to go towards our Bees for Elephants project. That project is something we started in 2018 in Nepal. And the reason that we're doing this project is because as rural communities are developing, they're spreading out their agriculture into more natural lands that elephants have used historically. Conflicts happen when elephants get desperate for food and water that are typically stored in these communities and elephants will come in, especially at night, and they'll go into houses or they'll go into crop fields and they'll raid and a group of elephants can take out one person's food for their whole year in just one night. And so we want to mitigate those conflicts by putting in deterrents for the elephants that are non-lethal and they're cost effective for people. The elephants do in fact avoid the sound of defensive bees. And so they developed this fencing system where you hang honey beehives from a wire around the perimeter of either a crop field or a homestead. So when elephants try to walk into the farm, they trip the wire, the hives start shaking, the bees start sounding like they're being defensive, and the elephants hear that sound and they literally turn tail and they start running away and flapping their ears and trumpeting to alert the other elephants, like, this is bad, we gotta get out of here. One more great benefit of doing the beehive fences is that the farmers can then sell the wax and the propolis, the pollen and the honey, and they're a high valuable item in Eastern Africa. So in addition to getting to keep the food in their crop fields and sell that food as well, they also get to sell those products from the hive. So we're really excited to start in two new areas this November and give people the agency to protect themselves from elephants.